welcome to Flavorful Eats. Today I am very warmly joined by my friends. My name is Hamsha Naidu. I'm Savita Rajiv and this is my mom, mom. Saraswati Subrayapa. Welcome to both of you. Thank we are um, doing a festival of Sankranti Opongal that's normally ce celebrated in India in January. So our, our main dishes are pong is Pongal. So Savita, you, um, getting started? Mom's yeah. doing? Yeah. Today the, the dishes she's making? She's going to be making two different Pongal dishes. One is a savory dish and one is a sweet dish. So we'll start off with the savory dish. Um, the ingredients for that are um, we have rice and mung, mung dal. Split, yellow split mung, mung dal. dal. We have pepper, curry leaves, cashew, mustard seeds, um, jeera, cumin seeds. cumin seeds, and chilies. And, um, the, and the cashews you're using today is uh, raw cashews, raw which cashew. you should be toasting. Yeah, right. which we will be um, frying to garnish later on. Natural unroasted cashews. Right. So. Mom's boiling water over here um, to roast roast the rice and then add the um, ghee. So we're going to make the pot hot yes. first, okay. correct? Yeah. Well, that'll take some time. Not really. Okay. So uh, this is now a very nutritious dish. It's got uh, the the mung, the split the mung, yellow split yeah. mung dal is actually protein. Yeah. And then we got our cashew, cashew. nuts. Which is good. Yes. And, and uh, jeera. Cumin is very Cumin good for digestion. Good digestion. And, and you're using ginger Pe too? Uh, yeah. Pepper? Uh huh. So, what does the pepper okay. do? They just make it a little strong. Yeah. Gives a good flavor without using a lot of chilies. Um, so, she is using a little bit of uh, clarified, clarified butter or ghee um, to. It's homemade ghee. Homemade ghee. So, she's using about four tablespoons of ghee? Yeah. Yeah. It's really hot. Mm. That's okay. Take it in there. Add this First, jeera. So we just added the jeera and the cashew the, nuts. No, she didn't add the cashew. A little bit of the pepper powder. Two teaspoons of pepper powder. Uh, some curry leaves. And when it starts fluttering, she's adding the cashew. I'll cashew a little. Mm. So you've got about a quarter cup of cashew nuts, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and a teaspoon, te teaspoon of uh, ginger. Ground grated ginger. Grated ginger. Ginger root. Ginger We're root. using the ginger root. Mm. Mm. Now she's adding the chilies. How many? So oh. about three green chilies? Three, yeah. Yeah, she split she slit, it. She the green chilies yeah. in the middle. So as you can see, it's starting to roast a little bit. Um, now mom's adding a little bit of salt. A teaspoon of salt? One and a half teaspoons of salt. A salt, 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 salt to taste. Yes. Yeah. Salt to taste. And now we roast the, um, the, the rice, rice and the moong dal. dal. So the, the, the quantity there is two is to one, two cups yeah. of rice to yeah. one cup of moong dal. So yeah. Split, split moong dal. Just it in. So the good mm, thing is the dip. both cook just as fast. The, the mung dal cooks as fast as the rice, so you can put it together. So, so to this um, two cups of rice and one cup of split mung dal, you're going to be using um, seven, cups, seven, of seven cups of water. You're bringing it to a roaring boil. Which is already boiling. Okay. Mm. This is getting roasted a little bit. And once it gets yeah, a little bit brown, then you add the rice. And within 20, 25, no, 25 minutes it should be done. <coughs> or when the water quantity is lessened. The rice and the moong dal has to become more soft and almost to like a mush uh, consistency. And then we uh, add the rest of the ingredients to it. Right? Right, Mom? Mm. 
Okay, in the meantime. All right, so that, um, while that is cooking, you'll explain a little bit of your sweet pongal that you're supposed to be making? Yeah, so the second version of it is the sweet pongal. We've already cooked mm -hmm. the rice. Uh, this is the raw rice. We've cooked the uh, rice. This is also to a slightly mush consistency. Uh, we use the pressure cooker for it. Um, this is jaggery uh, that's been crushed. Um, so, what? Move on to this side. Um, so we use jaggery, which is uh, um, unrefined, unrefined sugar, sugar. Yeah. which is uh, very, very healthy for you. Okay. Be careful when you're doing this at home. I know. That is the seven cups of water added to the rice. Children, make sure you have adult supervision if you're trying to cook this. There we okay. go. So Grandma's no best. <laughs> she does. So this is jaggery. Um, so, so we, we have... Uh, how many cups of jaggery do we have? Two here? and a half cups. Uh, two and a half cups. Two and a half cups of jaggery. And how much of rice? Two cups. Two cups of rice, which you cooked already yeah. into this uh, consistency, which is very, very pasta. soft, as you can tell. Right. So That's pongo. Okay. So you want to explain the rest of the ingredients? No, it's okay. Jaggery, oh. rice, and coconut. Fresh grated Fresh coconut. Din kale, don't you? Okay. Cashew. Then we have cashew, golden raisins, and nutmeg, um, which has been grated into a fine powder for uh, um, extra flavoring. Right, mom? And this is how we bought the jaggery, jaggery before we chopped it into for use. Right. So pongal is basically a, a harvest festival in India, and um, it is it basically marks the end of the harvest season. So uh, when the farmers finish harvesting their crops, this is the first festival that they use the freshly um, harvested crops for. Um, so the, the freshly harvested uh, rice, rice as well grains. as the, uh, the dal, uh, this, and this is the festival that they do. We have four days of uh, Shakranti or Pongal. It's called different things in um, different, different parts, parts of, of India. India. It's called Bogi Pongal in the north. It's got Shankranti Dish. from the state that we come from. It's called Pongal in um, our neighboring state. So there's always um, variations, but the festival is the same. So um, so we do sweet and savory, just like how life is um, a mixture of you know spice and uh, sweet. So we have some days that are better than the others. So it is to signify something like that. Um, so while this is cooking, uh, mom is uh, making uh, what do you sweet call it? rice. Right, what is um, the jaggery? She's uh, trying to uh, emulsify, get the jaggery into liquid form. Right. So we call it paka, but um, you add a little bit of water to the crushed jaggery. Very little water, not mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. She's put about a quarter cup. Huh? This is how much of. Uh, water to the jaggery you can see that there so then the jaggery will dissolve and it will almost come to a caramelized state and uh, she's going to filter out if there are any impurities in the jaggery because this is a very rough form of sugar mm -hmm. so um, it's not very refined so there will be some impurities in it so we're going to filter it off as uh, as it finishes um, getting to that caramelized consistency Okay. So while this is um, um, getting into soft, say, liquid, um, but I guess you're just going to add that into this right after yeah. you have strained yeah. it to make your sweet rice. It's but sister. the cooking process is you would put that you you put that in the rice cooker this morning. You wash the rice. You put in the rice Actually, cooker. Actually, she made yeah. it in the pressure cooker. Yeah, we use pressure a lot cook. of pressure cooker in Indian cooking. Um, it's uh, yes, I know you came prepared with a pressure cooker. Unfortunately, the induction stove needs a, uh, a particular type of um, spot. Right. A magnetic pot, the one you have is not. I was not aware of that. Right. Okay. So, you the question. So, the, um, again, the cooking procedure of the rice, you put um, two cups of water, uh, sorry, two cups <coughs> of dry rice, which you washed up, 
and you have five, cups, five water, cups of water, water to get it to that consistency. Yeah. So uh, that becomes ready for the um, next stage. So it takes a little bit of time to, for the rice and the dal to cook. So, so do you the, add turmeric to that? No, we did not. Do you normally add? Sometimes we Sometimes do turmeric. Some people no turmeric. No turmeric. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes you add, yeah. sometimes you don't add. Turmeric actually adds more, a little bit of flavor, but it also adds more color, uh, nutrition color. and color. color yeah. Natural color. Yeah. yeah. So, so after adding the jaggery to the... So mm -hmm. how would you serve this for Pongal? How, what is the significance of using... I know uh, Savita had already mentioned the significance that after harvest, all the new... You thank new, you crops. Know, new, new crops. New crops. You're actually thanking... Thanking yeah, Mother, Earth Mother Earth for, for giving us the food. So that's basically the certificates of Pongal. Pongal. Yeah. And then the cooking of the rice is supposed to boil over. Boil over. Pongal means, uh, um, the, it comes from the root word Pong or Pongu, which means to boil over. So anytime... Um, which language? In, in Telugu. Telugu. In okay. Telugu. Yeah. So anytime we have an auspicious function, or we um, we enter a new, new home. home. We we, yeah. we always boil uh, milk so that we allow it to overflow. Um, e even if it messes up our new stove, it doesn't matter. But it is something that um, shows abundance and uh, welcomes. Yes. Yeah. So, so that, yeah, that, that's the um, good thing about. <laughs> Out of the stuff we do. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, India is so rich in its traditions that um, every festival is different and um, every um, thing that we do, every step that we take um, has a lot of significance to it. So this is almost getting there. It's, it's almost starting to soft. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can expedite the expedite. process. Uh, by Linda, it's still there's still a lot that needs to be. Thing. Okay, so those that don't know, jaggery comes from sugar cane. It does come from sugar cane. And it's a much healthier fuel than all the refined sugar that Absolutely. we use today. So if people don't have jaggery, they can actually use about two and a half cups of regular sugar. They can, yes. So they have uh, no, it, it won't make much of a difference. Brown sugar is a better alternative if you don't have jaggery. Um, and then when it starts boiling like this is when um, we say it's getting that, that thicker sweetness. To like it. a syrup. Yeah, like a syrup, almost like a syrup. And so, Hamsha, what do you guys do in, from South Africa for Pongal to you? It's, we carried out the tradition from you know all those years back to do exactly the same thing you yes. guys do. Yeah. So you want to uh, explain exactly how the uh, things are done besides the food that we cook? So early in the morning, you make some pretty designs. We yeah, we put what we call as rangoli, which is made out of rice flour. It comes in various designs and patterns. Um, we couldn't put it over here because it's a countertop. But um, so early in the morning, you wake up, have um, oil bath, which is the tradition for us. Um, put so the you're rangoli. talking about your family tradition, as That's you know it best. For, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how everybody else does right, it. Right. Right. Um, but you okay. know, we okay. um, we clean the front of the house. We um, put the rangoli and then um, the women have obviously a lot more work than the men. The men uh, put mango leaves um, along the uh, front door just to signify so, the freshness. Excuse me, the but I just to show how we uh, oh, st it out. strained uh, the, the, the impurities, the impurities from the jaggery. Mm. <laughs> okay. So then I got it. Mm. You get that. I don't okay. in the same pot. Okay. Oh, she just strained out the impurities and uh, put the jaggery syrup back into the dish. So you tell me. So you me cook more than two cups today? Yeah, she did. Should I put? Okay. So you're putting a little at a time. Is that mm. what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. Just so it will mix well. Yeah, otherwise it takes. Uh, <laughs> To the small pot that we have. Sorry, we got the wrong no, utensils no, no. for you. Uh, coconut. Coconut. Now you're adding uh, grated coconut to yeah. that? The yeah. whole thing? Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's uh, the grated coconut adds more nutrition to that old rice dish. It does, yeah. So and flavor. And flavor. It's yeah. a medium chain. Uh, yeah. Growing up, we always had coconut trees 
around our house, so coconuts were available in abundance for us. Um, and the coconut water, the tender coconut water. Yes, in oh, the that's, summer. that's delicious and that's uh, such a good uh, to, to, to hydrate yourself, yes. right? So, just like we didn't have Gatorade, and the coconut <laughs> water was <laughs> our uh, version of Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, see, it's very, very good. Yeah, we are fortunate that mom gets to visit us every now and then. And the minute she comes into my home, I retire from my kitchen and I take it back only after she leaves. So, so. It's still, if it looks as liquid as that, don't be afraid. It's still part of the cooking process. Yeah, it is. This is the putte, Mima. You this want it to be high? High. Mm. So okay. now you're putting so nutmeg. nutmeg. This is nutmeg. For those who don't know, this is what the putte looks like. And she's grated the nutmeg to add. That's the flavoring. It's a little bit unusual because most you people know we always add the cooker line. We always know we add cardamom. Everybody knows about cardamom. cardamom yes. Not That's everybody true. knows we add uh, nutmeg too. Yeah. Say for about a teaspoon of nutmeg, right, Auntie? Yeah. yeah. So it gives a very nice uh, flavor. Mom's a little concerned it wasn't cooking enough, so I added another cup of water to it because it needs to become very soft. Right now, uh, let me see if I can manipulate this here. It is half cooked, so we are still a little while away from finishing this up. So you're done with the rice now? No. No. Are we adding more? Okay. What do we have to so do? You want to add yeah. out the rice? Okay. So how much you cooked was right? I guess. Yeah, two cups was right. right. Yes. <laughs> See, mothers know. <laughs> Let me just add it off. Right. So um, I noticed that you have raw cashews. You, you fry this and add it in later? You, that, that's for garnish. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you take a little bit so of clarified butter, 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 butter. Right. Um, add the cashew, the raw cashew and the right. raisins. Mm -hmm. And the raisins will kind of plump up. Mm -hmm. And um, it gives a nice aroma. Yes. Um, as well as an awesome flavor. So if those of you don't know, this is the raw version of the rice. Yes. Which has been washed up and cooked into that. And this is how clarified butter looks. Um, we call it ghee in India. Um, this is the semi-melted version, and here's the melted version. Okay. So I'm just going to do the garnish, um, heating up. It's a slightly oversized pan, but I'm heating up a little bit of clarified butter. I think what we can do is maybe move our uh, this pot on the side so the camera gets Okay, so now you're making, you're now adding the um, garnish for the chassis, the, the, the karam, the, the, the sweet food, the, the savory yeah. okay. food. Dinka. Are you sure? Yeah. So you're putting four tablespoons there, right? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't put this much. Mom likes to feed us. She doesn't think she <laughs> healthy <No>. enough, <laughs> so she keeps adding. No. If it were up to me, I would have just added a teaspoon, but it's her show. <laughs> There's a dry, clean one if you want to use me. No, I guess I can use those. So then, the, while the, when the um, ghee is hot, the clarified butter, then you're going to be adding the... I first added the, add the cashew. What do you think? The whole thing. Okay. So, quarter cup. <laughs> So Savita asked the mother spoon. in Telugu how much, and the mother said, take it all, and she decided she'll use about a quarter cup. So you see, it doesn't matter how much of uh, nuts you want to put in your, your food also. It's all personal taste. It's all personal taste, for sure. Plus, you know, how healthy we want to be, or how much you want to splurge at a time. So I'm just roasting it. I will lightly roast it so that it starts to get golden brown. Great. I will, once, let me finish this, mm -hmm. and then I will add the raisins. You want me to turn and you do that? No, no. Okay. <laughs> so it needs some muscle power too, huh? Yeah. Otherwise it will catch, it will get stuck, um, yeah. get burned. Okay. Mm. 
Estana. Grecia? Allow me to Estana. If you use that pot, then that camera may be able to see there. That's plate. So I'm just adding all the cashew that I have roasted with a little bit of the clarified ghee as I remove it. Because I'm using this, I'm going to be using the same um, pan to fry the raisins. Yeah. I don't want to add any more clarified butter to do the raisins. So. Again, a quarter cup of raisins. Quarter cup, yeah. So, okay, she wants me to add more. A little more than quarter cup? Yeah. So. About five tablespoons. Yeah. So when it starts plumping up, I'm just going to put the whole so thing into it. So if the taste is not so great, Savita, it's your fault. You put less stuff. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, it looks and like it will be really yummy. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. So this is how it so looks when it's all it it's it, this is how it looks when it's all plumped up. And okay. you want to stir the Savita? Uh, yeah. That's the dish ready. Yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah. Well, off to see. Off? Turn it off. This one. This is I know there. Mm. We'll put it on low and make our next dish and come back to that. Right. Which I'm is the chutney? Yeah. The next is chutney? This, this next is chutney one? Yeah. Okay. No, chutney. Chutney? Mm. Or chutney? Chutney, chutney. Chutney, okay. Uh, chutney is the next, it's a savory uh, dish which you could uh, use in all festivals. Okay. So chakli or muruku is basically a savory snack dish um, that's very, very popular in India. Um, it's made out of these ingredients and I will explain them. Um, this is basically what the end product would look like. You have rice, you have urad dal. What is that called? Do you know? I don't know. I, I knew name? the Indian I mean English, but I don't know it right now. This is fried gram and then we add a little bit of sesame It's seeds. more roasted, right? Your, your grams they're are roasted. All, yeah, they're roasted. All, they're all roasted. The, the, the grams are roasted, the sesame seeds are roasted. And then we make it into a powder. We add a little bit of uh, salt and chili powder to it. And uh, mom's pre-made it into a powder. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So I'll add it to this. Yeah. So she's going to mix it into a dough. A bad, uh, 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 oh yeah. uh, uh, similar a to uh, bread dough, but it doesn't need to um, have any uh, raisin time. Uh, right. So it she cooks it immediately. Now she's adding salt. Salt, yeah. About three quarter teaspoon of salt. And that is sesame, sesame seeds. seeds. I'll just give some extra flavor to it. Yeah, and you put about three teaspoons of sesame seeds, Auntie. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna putting mm. you using ghee instead of oil then? Just to mix the dough. Right. A little yeah. Bit. But uh, yeah. you thought it was ghee uh, oil, oil first. Yeah. You want to be more healthy. I only use oil. <laughs> <laughs> Mom uses this ghee. is tasty. I guess it is. Yeah. yeah. That's true. And ghee is not that bad. It's all the mess out of the um, the, the butter. So oh, oh, one is, is to four, right? You put one quant one uh, um, quantity no, of four cups rice. Yes, that's one cup in fried gram. Okay, okay. half a cup in wood dal. Okay. So fried half a cup wood dal, fried, fi half fried a wood. cup of roasted wood <laughs> dal, <laughs> one cup of roasted gram dal. Fried gram. Mm -hmm. Fried gram. Uh, it's chana four cups. Yeah. and four cups of white rice. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's not parboiled rice. No. It's, yeah, regular Should rice. Good. No. And be careful of your hand. It's more hard. water? Do you need more water? Yeah. Oh, you want it lower, higher? No, medium. Yeah, medium, medium is fine, it's medium. You want more water? Most, but you want to cover it, then you cover it. Yeah, too. I got the part right in my hand. You want to put this in the... There you go. So you're just using your bare hand to that? Oh my god. You, at home, you could use Don't a fork. Don't try this, yeah. Fork can work just as well. Mm. Mm. Try this, mom, first. Blade, ma.
See, carefully taking the flower, the, you should really carefully it. taking the flower from the side to cover that hot uh, ghee that she just put so she won't burn her fingers. So I'm glad she didn't use our trick. She's showing everybody how to use hot oil. And be careful. Right? Right. Yeah. There okay. we go. So then we have... Our tension is over. Right. <laughs> So this is what we used um, to make the chutney. Um, it's a little apparatus that we brought back from India. You have it's different now available in Indian stores locally. You probably do, yeah. So you have different plates depending on what sort of shape you want. There's a star, triple star. Um, if you want it to be almost like a flat Sorry. pasta. Sorry, even this is no, it's just good. It's okay. Um, the really thin. Um, almost vermicelli like uh -huh. and this one this is what we will be using so didn't like me do we want me to no you don't wow okay so you basically you have the plate and here you can see the three holes um, so when mom makes the dough we put the dough in here and then as she presses it down she kind of makes shapes on that wax paper. You put the water. Yes. You want to put water? Okay. So you add the, uh, well, this is a different quantity, but you normally add like one cup of water to your four cups of uh, rice, right? Right, yeah. But this one is as you mix the dough, you can make out how much you need. Yeah, too soft uh, mix will be. You won't get the, uh, uh, it will not form. Right. So that's why. And uh, too hard, you get very, very hard murukus. Right, so you yeah. want uh, the right sort of a soft, um, sort of a cookie dough consistency. Uh, consistency. So as you can see, it is salkada. It's a soft. Consistency, like a cookie. Yeah, almost, yeah, like a cookie. How's that? And it, uh, the the ghee allows it not to stick too much to your fingers. That helps to right. That the, the the flour doesn't stick too much. So these are all very interesting snacks that both children and adults enjoy. Yes. Um, it's, it's deep fried, but. It is during a festival time that everybody indulges a little bit. Growing up, we only had savory or sweet snacks only during special occasions. We didn't have um, snacks at home like we do now. If you go to the grocery store and you buy potato chips and cookies and you come and you look at your pantry, it's full of these sort of things. But that's not how it used to be. We have about 10 festivals in a year. And those are the festivals that we would look forward to and we have these goodies. And the rest of the year, we just have simple food. So it, it was a very um, healthy era, I guess, the, when we grew up. So, so I'm just cooker laying this out so done. she can, huh? Cooker and there is no cooker, so let's just do it with that one. All set? Okay. So she's showing how to um, fill up the, the yeah I call it a muruku machine <laughs> I don't know what the term is we call it the chakli roll okay so, so she's filling it to the top there's a different type also it has a little round wheel that you turn around right so you have two types of uh, machine right yeah yeah if I thought about it I would have brought that one <laughs> I'm going to increase this because you're going to you started to make <coughs> what happened? What happened? I don't know. <coughs> Maybe there's some air in it as well. Okay. Chin chin chasal. So this is basically the raw form of the chakli and then we fry it and um, it becomes the crisp, savory version of it. So the kara pungal is taking as much time as all the dishes, so I guess it's a good thing we started early. 
But a pressure cooker or a, a rice Whatever. cooker doesn't cook as long because right. uh, here yeah. we have no control over this induction stove right. of yeah. ours. That's true. Even though it's a quick stove. But the rice always takes that amount of time to cook. So mom does this, you know, I, I've been here in this country for over 20 years. If I have to make this, I take that whole thing and I just put it in the pan. I don't go one at a time, you know, I don't have that much patience. So it, it all crisps up in the pan <laughs> and, you know, everybody consumes it. So it doesn't, to me, it didn't make a difference. The kids crush it before they eat it anyway. So um, I take the easy way out and I just put it on the pan. But she goes old principle, doesn't let go of how she learned from her mom. I'm, I'm assuming that's where you learned it, right, Mom? Yeah. Well, you know, if you think of it from a safety point of view, her way is safe. Actually, you putting it directly in the oil can can be not so safe too. Okay, so, so we'll do one batch with Mom's, and then I'll show you yes, how mine, yes. mine happens, and we'll make sure that it doesn't um, cause any uh, injury. So the best way to test if the oil is ready to just put a little bit, and it's not ready. If it was ready, it would have immediately uh, risen to the top. I'll Change increase it. No, we finish this off first. Okay. okay. This it's much starting to sizzle a little bit. Right. So again, um, we have a balanced meal in the one, uh, even though it's deep fried, even though it's cooked longer. We still have um, the 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 the, the chana the the, the gram the, 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 yes. all the yeah. dals make the, protein the healthy, um, uh, ingredients we should say but then again you have to remember that these were splurges that were spread you know over ten times in a year not an everyday thing so mom would make a box of this and once it's gone it's gone you know till the next festival comes along we wouldn't have it so. Um, Thankfully, she still remembers how to make it because when you. <laughs> <laughs> but every time we visit home, you know, she knows we love this, so she definitely um, makes a point to. So now I, I know people talk about different names for different uh, varieties of the flavors of the muruku. Do mm. you know any uh, different what chakli? type? Mm. Chakli muruku, and also we, not, we not added to just chakli muruku, the the actual variety of that particular type of muruku. Mm, a tengola. Oh, okay. okay, like that. But, okay. Yeah. but you can also add different things. Like mom added sesame seeds. I actually add jeera to it, cumin, or cumin seeds. seeds. Um, she sometimes adds uh, poppy seeds, poppy seeds. Um, to it. So um, depends on you know what we have available at home or what she fancies. Um, so kuranji will give it a different. Uh, the black yeah. seed, onion yes. seeds will give it a different flavor. Yes, it would. You didn't drop anything. 